Hey everyone, it's Ron, and you're watching what Ron plays, and we are here with episode five of our foundation series. And if you haven't noticed already, we have a new mic configuration. So I decided to put my mic up here. I didn't think the sound was quite good enough. Um, it was sitting on my desk down below me, so I set this up. It's hanging from the top of my desk up there, so we'll see if the sound is a little bit better. Um, hopefully it will be. I'll have to get used to having something you know sticking out in front of me the whole time but i think it'll it'll work we'll experiment with it if it doesn't work um i might put it lower on my table and actually have it boomed up in front of me i don't know i haven't haven't quite decided yet but just hoping the sound is a little bit better um and we'll see so if you remember from last episode um most of our focus was on this monastery we built quite a big monastery and i'm, I'm kind of looking back at it now and I'm I'm kind of feeling like it's it's pigeonholing us a little bit um you know I mean it, it makes sense you know we have a 23 clergy rating um but at the same time you know the mechanics of the game are telling us that our kingdom rating and our labor rating is going down so I think we'll see if we can balance that a little bit um I did notice we hit 75 prosperity so as I was looking through you know kind of preparing for this episode I did notice that um, there are some other things available to available to us so um, we're gonna go ahead and let the game start moving so we can get some more coins and we will check out some of the things that are available to us um, if you've liked the series so far um, please like the video um, it'll help more people find the video subscribe to the channel to help it gr help us grow and click that notification bell to be notified of our future videos and with that being said let's get going so if we look down to our book we'll get moving a little bit there we go and if you look down to our book um, i was looking at this progression and i didn't notice this edicts and privileges section so we do want to go there i noticed this one said i still had to to progress a little bit more to get this so um, we can't do that quite yet but over here we have privileges so we can click there and we can either get um trade pipe trade price bonus of 10 percent from village um we can get clergy buildings upkeep reduced by 10 percent and food needed uh, food need satisfaction for monas monastics last 50 percent longer i kind of want to add this one because i think our if i remember right our monastery is taking like at least 16 coins i believe for upkeep so i am going to click on that one and hopefully that'll that'll alleviate a little bit of our pain um, on the on the common path side I was thinking about getting farming it does cost me 50 to grab that um, but we should start gaining food again because we're not buying any tools so I think that'll be a good decision to make so we're gonna go ahead and do that we've got 10 unemployed people um, we've got more land now and I'd also like to make some more room for residential because I think we're I think we're running a little bit low. So we're almost full down here. Up here we still have some room, but keep in mind we just took this whole section over there. So maybe um maybe we can move this hut like over here. Like get it out of the way a little bit. So maybe that's something we can do. We do have a wheat farm, a windmill, and a bakery, so we can do all three. Um, I think we do want to do that. Um, I don't know if we want to do it down here. But first, I want to make some adjustments. So let's go in here and let's remove some of this extraction, because I think I want to improve our... I think I want to improve our or expand our residential down here. So we're going to remove all this restoration because they seem to be pretty good up there. And they seem to be doing pretty good as far as making wood. So I'm not too worried about that. So I think we'll expand this residential down here. And you know what? I'm going to actually put it all the way down here. I don't know if they'll do it on the beach, you know, if they'll build homes there, but we could try. See what happens. I mean, it'd be a lot less distance for the farmers to run. 
or excuse me, the fishermen to run. So let's go ahead and put it like way down here. I know the desi desirability is low, but we can spruce that up a little bit if we have to. We didn't put anything over here because we're hoping to get that stone. We just don't necessarily need it yet. And actually this we could bring out here a little bit. Why not? Give them more room, although they don't seem to be building much up there at the moment. But we may we may just start doing some more. Um, so let's do that. What does this guy got to say? Offering bread for your herbs and berries. With all this grace and mercy, the bishop wants to make sure all regional monasteries are well fed. He delegated a steward to ship you bread in exchange for herbs and berries harvested from your monastic lands. So let's see. What can we do? Accumulate 100 berries, which I think we can do. Um... The one or the fifty, man, the fifty herbs might be a little more difficult. We've got twenty-eight days. Um, I think we'll give it a shot. What the heck? We'll keep an eye on those herbs. Hopefully, they'll get to fifty, and we'll be successful. If not, we'll just get beat up a little bit. That's all right. Um, so I do want to start building some farms. And I think we have access to this whole area, so I'm not quite sure why I don't have the hunting zone expanded out to here. I mean, why wouldn't I? So we can put our hunting zone out to there. And I think to encourage more, more um, residential growth up here, we could start making our farms up here. So let's do that. How much does that cost? 25, so that's not bad. Um, it only costs four tools, which you can also handle. So let's do, let's do that. Let's make a farm. Where's the entrance of this thing? Where's the entrance? There it is. So I'm not sure what goes on after we do this. So let's just put that down. Let's build it. I'm not sure... Not sure how we'll do the land after, but we'll see. We'll definitely work on it. Are those really stones? Those don't seem to really be rocks. Because I know stones down here. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, there are stones. Let's go back up here. I don't know if I can collect those, though. No resources to extract. What are you talking about? This should all be an extraction area. Not sure why it's thinking that. All extraction area. Why do you think you have nothing to extract? That's kind of bizarre to me. I still say that. I don't quite understand why it doesn't think that there's anything to extract there. Hmm. Is that a restoration hole? Yeah. So I'm not sure why this doesn't why it thinks there's nothing to extract so okay if it wants to think that then we can go to a another lumber camp and we'll just put a lumber camp out here let's see let's just put it right there let's build it and if it doesn't think we have anything there to do let's just just shut that thing down. I don't think we can. Oh, it does. I thought it said we couldn't do it without with people in the way, but okay. I thought in the past it was telling us if we had employees there, it wouldn't do it. Who keeps getting blocked now? Oh, over there. So we've had problems with that anyways. So let's just get this built over here. Where did I put it? Oh, they're clearing out a little spot there. 
They're getting there. Bringing two tools. No access to food. They all have access to food. We got all kinds of things saying no access to stuff, huh? Nothing to report. It's just a house. Unless it was talking about the the tavern, but I think the tavern, yeah, they got brew in there, so. They're alright. How are we doing that lumber camp over here? How are you doing? Somebody gets to work on that thing. There we go. Shouldn't take too long to build. It's pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so we need three wood cutters. Oh, they already put them in there for me. Hopefully, we won't have any uh, good wood cutters that are getting messed up or getting wasted somewhere else. Okay, so we can do extraction. We can like do this whole area back here. So you take all those trees you want. Now you shouldn't be able to tell me that there's nowhere to extract it. So we'll paint all that up. There we go. So all that. Alright. Now what I'll do is I'll actually remove all this. So you guys don't need to extract any of this anymore. So we'll take all that away. So, I mean, I kind of like the painting, but, you know, like this, but I think removing it's kind of annoying. So, I think the, I think the verdict is still out on this. Well, it looks like we still have a little extraction spot down there. And I'll have to put another, another restoration building there. So, we'll get that going. So, we got that. Gonna take that. Uh oh, nope. I want to do that. Almost messed that up. All right. So we can make residential more up here too. So you get a little more residential room. Okay. So we also need to go back to our little lumber camp. And oh, it's a separate building. I forgot. So Forester Camp, we'll put it right there. We will build that. That's only 10. See a little spot we missed right there. So let me paint that for extraction. There we go. And then we'll also paint all this for restoration. So I think the easiest way to do it is just to follow this around. And then this is the limit out here. So we can go over the edge be all messy then so I'll make sure this all can be restored it's interesting because when I was building some of the earlier buildings it seemed like it wasn't automatically employing people but now it kind of seems like it is so I'm not too you know I'm not unhappy about that so actually okay with that so what are we doing here so we've almost got this built okay oh paint crop field all right look at that nice okay i'm digging that so i don't know how this is going to work. Let me try and go over some trees and see what happens. Well, that fertility is low there, so we'll actually remove that. We will continue over here and keep going there. So you can make some pretty crazy, some cr pretty crazy looking uh, designs there. So we'll do that. We can have serfs, so. We can just add people because we don't have any farmers yet. So let's do that. I'm interested to see what that's going to look like. I missed a hunting spot there. 
It seems like when you think you're just painting everything, it's not doing it quite the way you want it to. So I'm eager to see how that goes up there. And what's it going to look like? So we don't have anybody up there yet. Hope I didn't miss any people. Trade's looking pretty good. We don't quite have 41. We have 13 days left, so I don't think we're going to make it. Unless. Let me pause it real quick. Let me go back down here. We'll zoom in. Oh, there's still a little restoration square there, I think. Yeah, some there. So it does leave some remnants, which, you know, could cause problems later on. If you look, this looks like extraction remnants there along the edge. There's another restoration remnant there. So you do kind of have to zoom in because you can see some little spots, little remnants. So what I think we want to do is go back here, click on this guy. We've already got those. Can't do a rectory head yet because I think we needed 20 of these manuscripts. But I did want to be able to go here, edit building a function. We want a monastic garden and we want more herbs. So maybe we can do that. So let's see. Yeah, we can put another herb garden here. So let me zoom in a little bit. We can rotate that bad boy. Let me see. And we'll plop that right there. We will build it. So let's do that. Hopefully that'll hopefully that'll go quickly. So hopefully we'll get some more herbs. I don't know if we're gonna get it in I don't know if we're gonna get it in twelve days, unfortunately. If somebody builds it quick, build it quick. Only bring in two wood. Yeah. I think we're gonna miss the We're gonna miss the deadline on this one, I think. So we got somebody bringing three wood and somebody bringing a tool, so hopefully they'll just build it right away. Come on, build it. So I notice nothing is happening here, so I'm not sure what's going on with these guys. Hmm. We'll see. I mean, we've got. Maybe we just need something else with berries, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'll let it roll. So we do have another. We do have another spot for uh, herbs there. I don't know if they're doing anything at the moment, but we'll see. Don't think we're gonna make it. Eight days and we're at forty-three. So a merchant. Ooh, almost missed a person. We don't want to miss people. Yeah, still only have forty-three. Still at eight days. So man, we could lose 10. That's brutal. I don't think it'll have that big of an effect, but look at that. How come I have a feeling they can't really fill this whole thing up? That's kind of how I'm feeling. So maybe we'll make this a little smaller. Might have to do another farm. Yeah, that looks like way too much land for them. So I'll leave it at that. We're up to 45 with six days left. Oof, I don't know if we're going to make it. It's going to be close. Merchant requests an audience. What do you want, buddy? The bishop is looking to build a few chapels along pilgrimage routes. One of his merchants noticed your woodcutter camps and wants to make you an offer. Selling wood to the bishop. 100 inside. I think we could do that. And we'll get 100... 100 gold? I think we can do that. I think we can make it. I don't know if we're going to make the other one. Man, it's going to be close. Five days. we got 46. Come on. Oh, what? They're not in the storage yet. Oh, they're there. We'll see. 
It's going to be close. So I don't think these guys can fill it up. I mean, there's only three people that can work there, so... We've got no wheat yet. So you definitely need to... Definitely need to store up some wheat. We're going to be so close with the berries. Or the, the herbs. I don't think we're going to make it. Dang it. That would have been close. That would have been really close. Forty-eight with three days left. Can we do it? Somebody just snatched some berries too. Cause now we don't have a hundred in our storage anymore. We don't even have forty-eight. We don't have forty-eight herbs in there yet. There's fifty herbs. Can we get them to storage? And they need to get the berries to storage. Come on, guys. When we get a hundred, a hundred bread, if we can make it, which would get us another trading route. Come on, one day left. Get that one herb in there. Come on. Oh, man, we missed it by just a second. That's a shame. Yeah, that's kind of. That's kind of sad. So we're going to pause that for a second so we can make sure... I want to make sure we get this 100 wood. We need to get him inside of storage. Man. That was painful. We could have really used that bread, too. Let me tell you. So now we have 29 wheat. Sarah so collecting the wheat over here. So I could probably... Make the... Field a little smaller. I just go with that. We will also need another. I think we'll need another granary. So let's get one of those. We'll put a granary right there. It doesn't cost anything to plop it down. So we'll take that. We'll take a few more people because we need granaries and warehouses and all kinds of stuff. So we still don't have a hundred yet. Why are they not in storage? Kind of some of it's because the wood's coming from way over there. Man, they're clearing those things out quick. These restoration people are not. Oops are not going very fast because I didn't assign anybody so, so it looks like if you've already got a building and somebody's already been a has already been a woodcutter it'll automatically assign them to woodcutting I think that's where I'm making my mistake so I probably just didn't have a free forester which I think there's a forester down here so I don't know if they're helping up there or not. Not super worried about that yet. Do we have our hundred wood in there yet? We do. Thank you. You know, this time, unlike the times in the past, I gotta remember to turn that back on. And unpause it, because I've forgotten that in the past. What do you want, my friend? Bountiful trade with Northbury. Thanks to your steady trade, last season has been good for your neighbor, Northbury. The, apprenti the appreciative of best negotiated better prices with their merchants who are now ready to offer reduced prices on certain goods at specific times in exchange for increased trade volume. Good grief. Trade for 500 worth of resources. I don't know if we do that. We don't really need barrels. Um, that's probably true. Yeah. I don't think... Well, we might be able to do 500 coins worth. So what are we trading at? 141? Hmm. 
Let's try and do sh cheaper tools. I mean, the worst we could do is not make it, I think. So I don't think it, it's going to hurt anything. Um, promoting, promoting a novice. Oh, so we only need 10 manuscripts. Okay. So we have nine so far, so we only need one more. Look at that guy. He came zooming in there. What does he want? A wise stargazer has come to the village predicting that bad weather is coming. They recommend that we stock as much food as we can whilst the weather is good. Well, we've got quite a bit of food, so I think we're okay. We just got a granary built. And this granary can hold wheat. We desperately need to hold wheat. Um, I don't think we need to hold anything else at the moment, but we could probably put some meat in there, I guess. Um, and probably... Probably boars. So we can do that. And actually, I'm going to put more wheat in there. More wheat! There we go. So we do want to make sure they have plenty of wheat. So maybe I gotta move, make another forester over here. So let me do that. Uh, forester. Okay, build that thing. Now I'll just shut this one down over here because I don't think it's doing any good. So we can just destroy that. You're getting some more population up here, so that's that's pretty good. What do we got going on? There we go. Build it. What do you mean you're waiting for a builder? You shan't be waiting for a builder. Do you have another little green glowy thing right there? Look at that. I think that's residential. Right there. <laughs> yeah, the painting does miss a few spots. You gotta, gotta kind of dig around. Like right there. I think that's another missed spot. Right there. All right, and you are ready, and automatically assigned a forester. So that one it did. So hopefully they'll start. They'll start planting those trees. I don't know why that guy wouldn't cut any of these trees down. I'm not really sure, but who am I to judge? So how are these guys doing over here? Man, there's a lot of miners whacking on them stones. Interesting. All right. Just got our trader going. We've got plenty of gold for the moment. So it almost looks like he filled up a little bit more this time, but I think it's because I chopped some off the edge. Um, so let's go with food. We can do a windmill. So may as well do a windmill. Which way does this? Which way does this thing face? I guess the ladder's in the front, right? Should I do it right there? I mean, I can squeeze these things in there pretty good. Oh, there's stone right there. We don't want to do that. So let's just go, like, right there. Let's build that bad boy. It's going to take us a little extra gold because we got, we're going to have to buy some tools, but that's okay. That's okay. I wish I would have gotten that bread. Kind of makes me a little crabby, but... How much is that? 25 clergy. Do we have anything extra in clergy? We do not, because now we're below 5. Okay, I get 100 prestige, so we're not there yet. I could buy fort and then make a military fort. But I don't know how beneficial it is to really, really push in one direction. So we're going to see. We're going to see if we can even that out a little bit. So all our goods are there, all our parts. We'll see. What can we do? Let's build that bad boy. Don't wait for a builder. Courier is approaching. Let's see. What does a courier want? I know I'm missing people. I don't even want to look at the log. I'll be very sad. What else do we get? A military fort. Okay. Hosting wandering monks. A fellowship of wandering monks would like to spend a month at your hospitium. 
While they don't have much to donate, they promise to share fair words of your land if they are treated right. Of course. Yes, we will do that. We love the wandering monks. There they are. Look at them. Let's see these guys. Where are they? About to come through those. There they are. Look at that. They look like little shaman monks or something. Yeah. Got their little stabs with them. Staves, I guess. There they go. Boom. Inside. This should be being built over here. Waiting for a builder. Come on, you builders. Get over there. Then we will, last but not least, build, make a, a bakery. So, let's build a bakery. And we'll put that bad boy, like, where? I don't know where. I guess we just put it right here. Well, we probably should put it over here. So which way does that thing face? Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, it's right in the front. So we can put it like right there. Then we'll build you. And then over here, we'll make sure that you can hold bread. So we'll do that. There we go. Do you have all the wheat in there? You do. So it's maxed out. Because I didn't put any transporters in here because I'm a dope. Okay, you transporters get that. Better start moving that food. Use guys. There he goes. Look at that guy. He came around up there and grabbed some stuff. Somebody needs to get the weed out of there and put it in there. For sure. I just saw somebody go in there. Are you carrying stuff? Oh, I don't think so. Well, he brought a couple boar over there and he put the bread over there. So that's good. Bad weather arrived. As the stargazer predicted, the sky is falling and people hope they have gathered enough food to live through this period. Yes. It's not a problem. We have lots of food. We just need somebody... We need this builder to finish this thing. And you get some people working in there. Am I missing any people? Ooh, during bad weather, you can sure see when you miss something, though, didn't, can't you? Residential? Why won't it let me paint? Maybe it doesn't let me do that during bad weather? I don't know. How long is bad weather here for? A little while longer. We have plenty of food. Come on, they can't build? No, oh, my goodness. So apparently there's a lot they can't do while this is happening. We might have started a little too soon on that uh, on that bakery. See, let me paint that. It's odd, but it won't let me paint the residential there. Hmm. Let me put a hole there, though. <laughs> yeah, it won't do that one spot. I wonder if I put something there. Maybe there's something under there. Oh, look at that. People. We can use them. What are you doing? The bishop's steward returns with warming news. A fresh shipment of bread is made ready for your monastery. As before, the clergy demands herbs and berries in exchange for the bread. Yes. So we could do that right away. So I think we're doing okay food-wise. So we are going to do it. And that will allow us to open up another trade route, I believe. We need 20 bread. That's all we need. We have 101, for gosh sakes. Hello, bread. So I can't go to Davenport, apparently. Why not? Okay, something jinky has happened, and I don't like it. So you, my friend, need to have two millers. All right. So you've still got six unemployed, but we'll be able to put some people, at least a couple, in the bakery. Well, they're kind of filling up this area now. Look at them. So 
Maybe they got a little more talent than I thought. So we'll add a little space on here, put a little more on the back. I'm going to go ahead and paint this too, because it seemed like they were doing stuff right in the front. So, so that makes it a little bigger, a little bigger. All right. So we've got that going on. We definitely don't want to hold them back at all. So do we have flower up here now? We do. All right. Wandering monks. They're at 88%. What needs could I not fill? Oh, I bet you I don't have the... I don't have, like, the restaurant thing. Wait, stop following the person. No, stop following the monks. <laughs> it's following the monks all over the place. So we can build a... Which do we do? It was like the... I do have a refectory. I need a... Cloister. So let me see. We can put that on the... The back side. Maybe. What does it look like? Um, so it angles down a little bit. So we'll just put that like right in there. Okay. We'll add it there. Oh. Says we need two cloister halls. So we need another one. So put that one there. One cloister garden entrance. So can we put that like there? There. Special requirement enclosed area. 100 to 500 cloister size. So how does that, how do I do that? I think I have to cancel. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. So I need to not do that. Can I? So I got an entrance. A closed space. I don't know how to do that. Unless that's what that does, but I don't think that actually does it. Unless it's got to be 50 to 1,000. That doesn't... None of these tell me anything. Gallery. Rustic quarters. So it's a cloister hall. So is that what this encloses? He's like all oh, like. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. So I'm going to leave that alone for the moment. Not sure how to build the enclosed area. We do need to grab some more people though. And our bakery is done. We definitely want people to start baking. Uh oh. Why can't I put another person there? Oh, I need a commoner. Okay. We can do that. Select a mandate. We'll open the list and let's pay, 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 and pay. So we'll make those guys commoners. 1660 to do them all. That's way too much. Oh, and I close the bakery window. That's all right. So now we should be able to add another person. There we go. All right, we got a little road going in there. We do. Hopefully, they won't get all jammed up. But so we're still doing okay in food. We've got some wheat. We've got some bread. Can we still not do this one? We can. Yay! So now we got another trader. Um, I don't think we're selling them anything at the moment. We may later, but not now. They can buy wax, honey. Beer, bread, and yeah, maybe we'll sell them bread in the future. I don't know. I don't think we're making any bread yet. Why aren't you guys doing anything? Oh, you don't have any wheat yet. 
Why don't they have wheat? Is there wheat over here? There's only four wheat. Which is odd. How many wheat are in there? None. Okay. A little odd, but alright. What else are we doing? You got anything else that's like filled up? No, they're not full. Gotta kind of check around and make sure things aren't getting full because I don't know that I can store everything in my... I don't know that I can store everything in my warehouses. So in here we can store... Let me see. We'll just do honey for whatever reason. Why not? So we have any, do we have anything we haven't built yet? Um, don't think so. I think we're doing all right so far. Well, here we got some more people coming. Hello. Hello, people. So I'm kind of confused in a, that I don't know. Oh, well, they're pleased. Excellent. I'm kind of crabby that I don't know how to do this, so... I think I need to make sure I'm selecting this and moving it. So I think, how does this look? I think I need to put it like over here. So I think that allows us in. And then this one, I think we need to take and put it over here somewhere. Not yet though. So where did I... Oh, why did I get that one there? Okay, so that's a cloister, too. Okay, so what's this? So that's the cloister, cloister entrance. So we can set that there. This is a cloister corner. A cloister walkway. So this looks like... Oh, okay. Alright, I'm kind of getting what, what they're getting at. So... Okay. So cloister walkway. We'll go like this. Right? Too far. I don't know what that means. It won't snap on there. We'll snap on there, it will. Okay. So the cloister walkway can go on the side of that. Right? Yes. Kinda getting the hang of what's going on here. Cloister walkway there. Come on, snap on there. Ugh. So sometimes that little board, those the actual board gets in the way, which is annoying. Let's try this again. Snap on there. Snap on there. A corner. Um, a little angle. Okay. Corner. Which way? I assume it'd be this way. Okay, you need to go over here. Why is this corner not lining up? So there, right? That's really annoying that that doesn't line up. And then walkway can go there. Right? God, that's goofy looking. The entrance, there. Right? And a walkway, there. A walkway, there. Walkway, there, a corner, here, and a walkway there. That shows me green. So that looks like that's good. Right? I believe. It's not really telling me now, but, oh yeah, there we go. So it's not really a big one, but it does do it. 
So let's do that. 135 stone. Ooh, really a lot more stone. All right, let's build it. So that should make them happy eventually. Oh, and I can promote a... I should be able to promote a novice. Let me see, hold on. So why do I only have two copies? Hmm, monastery and occupants are automatically assigned. Okay, I've got five monks. I've got two herbalists and a forager. But I want to promote a... I want to promote somebody. Um, how do I do that? Can I click on him and... View home, view workplace. I'm on free time. Oh, there we go. Um, but I'm going to actually do an herbalist. So let's do that and promote you. You are now a brother, and now we have a refractory head. Excellent. I'm not sure how to get the number of people up. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're pretty stacked with people, but... Excellent. So I think we'll go to our trade window since we're since we're doing a little better. And we can crank this up to 20, I think. So we can go with 20. We've got three trade routes, which is good. We could be selling fish to Myrtle. So I think now our fish are going to start going down, maybe. Let me see. Um, yeah, we got our fish at 100, so they should be buying fish. They should have been buying fish. So what new, what new sales can we do here? Nothing really. Bread if we, oh, we're kicking out the bread. So we could sell some bread. So the bread, let's go to 100 max and we will sell all above the value. So let's do that. So we should be able to get more money. I think we're going to have to build like a bigger treasury on here. Um, treasury by 150, by 60, by 60, by 30, by 150. So let's do a, do we have enough room for that? We do. Yeah, those guys are in the way. They're in the way. So we can do that. So let's build that one because we're going to need room for more cash, I think. So, better days are coming. What does that mean? Behold, bad weather is now a thing of the past. Things are back to the way they were. But for how long? Newcomer requests an audience. We will take you, my friend. We'll take you. How's our little field doing up here? Do you have enough wheat and stuff? We don't have any wheat. We got lots of bread. Um... His bread's too full, so we need to find another place. There was another one down here. What do you got going on? No fish. You don't need fish. Put bread in there. What are you doing? Berries? Meh. I don't really know that we need to put berries in there. Apparently, they're not collecting any. What's that? Merchants from North Bear are thankful for your business and fulfilled their end of the deal, as promised. Okay. Bonus 25% tools. I'm down with that. So we apparently need another farm. We've got eight people unemployed. So let's... Oh, we can wait on you for a second. We'll build another wheat farm. We'll put this bad boy over here. We'll put it right back. We'll put it right there. All right, build that guy. What do you want, my friend? What do you got going on? Thanks to your increasing trades, a large number of folks are now looking to settle in Northbury. Yet the village struggles to feed the extra workforce and asks if you could send them some much-needed bread. Um, yeah, we can do that. 
So let's do that. We did. Beautiful. All right, so they can do 25 more. So we're going to get some more, some more uh, trade capacity. So we'll get some more dineros. So this is kind of a bummer because we're kind of trapped all the way around by this road. So can I not build over the road? Where are these? Who are these guys? Look at those guys running in here. What? Where the heck are you guys going? They must be going to the monastery. Look at that. They just went zooming right in there. So can I build? I don't know that I can build any more on here, though. So we're going to block the road. Will they, like, move the road around it? I guess we'll find out. So what does that take? I'm not worried about the tools right now because we're getting extra tools. So I wonder if that if they'll build a road around it. I guess they will because I think the way they walk dictates where the road is. So we'll definitely see. Look at they're building all their houses like right up there. What was that? Oh, a merchant approaching. Okay. What you got going on, my friend? He's like way over there. Where is he? Oh, look at that guy. Look at all those guys leaving. You're apparently missing out on where all the fun is. Hello? What were you doing? I thought I had a spot where I could see common path. Yeah, we can do tooling. That's going to give us a lot more stuff. Beer production, not really worried about right now. Common goods. Um, we don't need that yet. We'll hold off on that for a second. Yeah. Refund 50% of the tools used after constructing a... Yeah, that might be good. Upkeep of production building parts are decreased by 50%. Hmm. That's 200 to unlock, though. I think we'll wait on that for the moment. What do you want, my friend? The elders are looking to repair a few bridges across the region. One of their members wants your woodcutter camps and wants you to make an offer. Hmm. Sure, why not? Here you go, my friends. Nice. So we're not getting beat up too bad. We'll have to make a fort one of these days. How are they doing in that cloister over there? Oh, they got a ways to go because of the... Because of all the stone we need. Can I extract more stone down here? I wonder if I have room. Yeah, I'll get to you guys in a second. Oh, look at that. Charcoal hut. Iron smelter. But I need like... I need to be able to extract iron though. So what that does, no. That produces coal. Not really worried about that. But what is this? Produces one iron in exchange for one coal and two iron ore. Well, I need to be able to extract iron ore. Um, oh, I bet you I need to be near iron ore. Is that what it is? On iron ore? Near iron ore? So this is invalid position. Outside territory. See, I don't know how to extract that iron ore. Oh, look at this guy. He's done. I need to add three farmers. And I need to define my field. So, let's do that again. So we'll take his whole area and we'll go right up to this one. And we'll paint right up to this hill right there. We'll go right there. I think that should be big enough. So we'll see what happens there. No access to service. Who's that? Uh, steward of the bishop. Look at that guy is zooming in here. Uh oh, minus 18. That's bad. Didn't do so good trading that last time. Apparently. What are you doing, my friend? The bishop knows that you can feed your people fairly. He now wants to provide for the clergy, just like they once provided for you. For herbs, berries, and bread, his steward promises you wealth and influence. Good grief. 
So he wants to take 100 berries, 50 bread, and 50. Holy moly. So the only thing we're short of is berries. So I get 200, 200 bones. Yeah, we'll try it. Why not? What's the worst we could do is lose a little bit of stuff. I mean, we've got some berries up there. We just need to get them in our... We just need to get them in our uh, little storage huts here, our granaries. So let's see, we got boar in that one. What do we got in this one? Boar? There's only three berries. So what's this person doing up here? So they're just gathering berries away, I guess. We still only have 72 in storage. We've got 119 altogether. So some of them must be in the must be in the uh, tavern down here, I bet. Yeah, 19 out of 30 in there. Should only have one person. Oh, we got nobody making brew. Well, we can hire. Well, no. You know what? No, that's that's all right. We'll we'll let that go. How are we doing money-wise? Okay, we got a little bit more money back. That's good. Berries. We are getting more berries. Only 81 in there. I'm not worried about the herbs and bread, I don't think. They, I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Hopefully these farmers will get better and better. We need plenty of room for wheat. We got some meat up there, too. What's up with my cloth makers? Oh, because he's making... He's making common clothes, which I think I need to like sell down here. So maybe, maybe we'll have to try that in our next video is to set up some sales of like our, our clothes and stuff, some extra stuff. I'd really like to get more of those berries in my storage. I only need 10 more, seven more. We're close. I do find this game interesting that it's like you almost, I mean, you don't really have a guide on what to do, so you're just kind of winging it. Like they're slowly getting the, they're slowly getting this built back here. See, now all of a sudden they have berries, meat, and fish because that, that refractory brother is there now, helping things out, so. But that building they got going on back here, how they doing? Well, not too bad. Oh, they still need a bunch of stone and a bunch of polished stone, so. They shouldn't be selling any. They shouldn't be selling any because they should be given away first. Okay, so we're going to get our, our bonus. So we got five more of those. We got 200, 200 coins. So that's good. Housing insufficient? Well, build some houses. What are you talking about? How can you even say housing is in inefficient? Good shortage. Yeah, that, that'll that probably be an issue. That'll probably be a problem. So we may have to end up buying those and then selling them to our people, so... We're not producing them. I suppose we could... Are we still selling stone? That might be part of our problem. Yeah. We need to stop selling those. And stop selling our polished stone. You dummy. How am I ever going to build this stuff if I keep selling all my polished stone and stone? Don't. You silly kid. That's going to get us 13 more clergy splendor. Good grief. We're going to be very splendorous. So is that going to get us anything at the moment? Um, clergy... Oh, we can get that one. I could pay 10 to unlock. Why not? So if we get to Splendor 100, which we're almost there, we could uh, get some of this fancy stuff. A stone church? Get out of town. Oh, beekeeping. That would be good, because I can start doing the whole honey thing. Produces monastic meal in exchange for two herbs and a water. Interesting. Did I need water up here somewhere? I think I did, didn't I? 
Yes, water, but they can bring it. Maybe I need to make a well up here anyways, just in case. Or I could at least make one closer here. Let me put a, put a well like right there. It doesn't take much to build a well. What do you need, my friend? The Abess plans new deals with Northbury that cannot host them at her monastery. Judging your land to be suited for accommodation, she would much be, she would be much obliged if you were to help her delegate work out deals on her behalf. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? We're always good hosts. Do these guys have a good enough well right here? Maybe not. We've got to build like wells all over the place. So that one's built there. So it's completely ignoring these houses. So I could put a well there. And let me see. Because wells make homes happy. So that one's there. So it's missing these down here. So I'll just plop that well right there. How about down here? What are these guys doing? There's one well. That one's just covering that one. So we can put another well like there. And, oops. So we're gonna have one there. We have one there. So it's not hitting these this house out here. How about there and there. So that might be doing it. So let's just leave that there for the moment. That's good. Village your path path blocked. Apparently not anymore. So I'm not too worried. So yeah, they did work the road around that. So that's good. What I need to do is oh, not there. What am I doing? Click on there. And we can do another treasury. Let's do the big one in the back. We can just line, line these bad boys up. Nice. So let's build it. Build. Beautiful. Well, built. What's that? Oh. <laughs> I read it as like, that's well built. No, it's a well, silly. So I think that just upped my... Uh, might have upped my happiness by one. 13 unemployed villagers. That is not satisfactory. So how are we doing over here? Still no wheat. They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything. Goodness sakes. So I think I need to build another granary. Looks like, oh, not a warehouse. Cancel. It seems to me that you gotta have a lot of granaries and stuff like all over the place. So let me do. Well, that's too too close to the well. The sheep are wandering like all over the place. Let's so maybe put it right at the corner here, right across from the other one. So we'll put that there. You can build that. How's the warehouse looking? Where's the warehouse? Not there. Okay, that's a little annoying that all those stayed open. What's that? Warehouse. Okay, so they're, they're doing all right, I guess. Do we hit? Oh, we didn't hit 100 yet. So we need to do some beautification. I think that's going to be key. So, you know, maybe the beautification will hit on next time. So we do have some things to, to work on. It's going to be nice once they get this cloister done. I think we'll have like a really, really good monastery going on there. Um, I think next time we'll build a fort. We'll see if we can bring this this um, kingdom number up a little bit. We'll work on getting another warehouse up there. Maybe another granary. I think we can do a lot more storage. Because we can get these guys working pretty fast, I think. We're getting a lot of villagers blocked. Where was his destination? Man, these lumber camps just are freaking me out. I don't know why there's still a lumber camp there. Because I removed all that. But, I mean, it says they're producing. 
So maybe, maybe I'll put another little extraction area right here for that. And then we'll extend the, the reforestation over here too. So let's see if that worked. I know, remember at the beginning of this episode, this was all freaked out a little bit. We had that one, oops, we had that one, uh, we had that one lumber camp over here that was saying, like, nothing was working, so. They had no, no, uh, room to, to do anything, so. Why? So, housing insufficient, I don't understand, because it seems to me like there should be plenty of, plenty of houses, because they build their own, basically. But, what I think I'm going to do is do some promotions. Got a little extra money. Don't want to get right up to the top. So let's just promote a bunch of these people. What are we looking at? Yeah, let's go down to. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. That'll give us a bunch more. So that should improve our houses. Treasury's built. We can go up to 980. That should get us a whole bunch more house improvements. Um, and look, we have to go up in splendor on our clergy. So we'll definitely do the monastic beekeeping because I'm. I want to get some some honey and wax. I think that'll be good because then we can make candles, things like that. So modest hall. See, I don't know if you can upgrade these things though. I mean, it would be nice. I just don't know if you can like upgrade a church. Look at that attendance, 24 out of 24. Holy moly. We might have to make some more room over there. How about this one? 45 out of 45. Okay, so I may have to build another church next time too. So we have a lot of things on our agenda for next episode. So it'll be pretty cool. It'll keep us busy. We've got our little, our little uh, farms going over here. Don't really seem to be kicking out a lot of bread though. But we'll address that next time. So I want to thank you for joining me. Um, if you like the video, again, please like it so other people can find it. Um, subscribe to the channel to help us grow and click that notification bell to be notifi or notified of our future videos. With that being said, I am Ron, and you've been watching Ron Plays.